Today is October 20th. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come, Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 2. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. As we open our hearts to the word, take a minute to think about what you just listened to. Imagine this world ruled by absolute righteousness. Imagine a world where people from every country seek the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. People will flock to see and learn and know him, and all will live in accordance with the scripture, trying their hardest to walk the same path Jesus walks. Conflict will still exist, but will be resolved according to the laws of Zion, not the whims of humans. There will be no more need for war or to defend ourselves from outsiders because if someone is wronged, there is true justice. As you listen again, think about the equality and compassion that will exist between every man, woman, and child. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways 
so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion. The word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. There are things that can be used for both good and evil. Words can be used as both weapons and as tools. So can knowledge or information. As you move through your day, look for times when you can choose to use something as a sword or a plowshare and make a conscious effort to make the Christ-like choice, even if you don't want to. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.